I absolutely had to sleep until 4 o'clock. Hello everyone, and welcome to the second episode of Surge Fixes. My name is Lieutenant Surge, and we are going to be replacing the DVD drive in this Toshiba A105 series. And we'll get my tools. I have here in my hand a Cobalt 10-piece precision screwdriver set. And really, in order to repair laptops and related devices, you really should be getting something like this anyway. I have in my hand now the replacement DVD drive, DVD RW drive. And we're going to go through a step by step process on how to remove the old one and replace it with the new one. Now, before we begin, I wanted to apologize if this is probably the crummiest how-to video you've ever seen in your life because this is my first time ever actually going through this process and sharing my information like this. So yeah, enjoy. The first and most important step is to remove the battery. Always remove the battery before doing anything with a laptop or anything that has a power source for that matter. There you go. I kind of forgot a latch. Okay. Step two you gotta remove, I'm gonna show this to you. You're gonna need to remove this plate right here, which covers the memory modules. Right, let's do that. You're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver for this. Yep, yep. You can do that, you can find it at any major uh, hardware store. I know I just showed you the tool, the precision tools, but you can do this with a regular Phillips head. I just do not recommend it. Don't forget to keep the screw in the faceplate after you've taken it off, because you don't want to have to deal with finding the screw afterwards. Just a simple, simple thing to do. All right, now that we've opened up the memory module area, it also includes the wireless card, be careful of that. There is a little tiny lever, or should I say like a piece of metal sticking out with this screw right here, next to the wiring which connects the motherboard to the wireless card. Sorry I can't zoom in anymore, but you got to remove the screw first, of course. Be careful of where you put the screw. I think the screw is magnetized. But be careful. Put it someplace like right next to the faceplate so it, you know, it doesn't get any action. Third or fourth step. Well, the next step is to remove the optical drive, the DVD drive. In this method, you take your screwdriver or whatever implement you prefer and push out the metal piece which essentially is there for you to remove the DVD drive. Now that you see that it's out or protruding from the chassis, you can now safely remove the optical drive and see it in all its glory. March 2006. Hmm. We have a June 2006 one that we're going to be installing today. So we don't have focuses. Yep. A side note, one easy way to tell which one's which, if you have them side by side because they're typically the same, you check the model, the serial number, but you can, you know, if the manufactured dates are different, that's most probably the most obvious one. Alright, so now we're ready to install the quote-unquote new DVD drive. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright. Now because it's fa the laptop is facing down, you obviously return it in like this. Make sure that the well, make sure that the metal piece that holds the screw is aligned well with this screw hole because that's where it's going to go. And you carefully but sternly put in the new drive. And you heard a little click. I hope that means that it's all the way in. And usually that also means that it's also into, it's plugged into the 
I wanted to say it's plugged into the slot which connects the DVD drive to the motherboard. Which, now that I think about it, looks a lot like a SATA drive, a SATA port. But it could also be a proprietary uh, serial port. So, the next step, assuming that you've done all these things prior, is to, excuse me, put back all the screws and make everything uh, back to where it was. Make sure that the screw, oh, let me zoom in on that. Make sure that this screw goes all the way in. You don't have to go crazy and break the piece of metal, although I highly doubt you can do that and just break the whole motherboard. Just make sure that it's difficult to fasten any further. Because you do want that drive to be in there pretty solid. So now we're placing back the, <coughs> the memory slot, memory module faceplate. Don't worry, I'll get that name down sooner or later. Make sure it's fastened. Alright. Now what do you do? That's right. Put back the battery. Now, assuming your laptop works, which will be an important thing to do first, you can now turn it on and check to see if the drive works. Three, two, one. Success! Thank you for watching.